Uh, well, at 7.35, I'd like to call this meeting of the Planning Board to order. Um, on the agenda, first on the agenda is Zenith Consultant Engineers. For the record, Niles Zager from Zenith Consulting Engineers. Um, we're here before you. Um, last the last hearing, as as you, I'm sure everyone is aware, we had some significant discussion regarding the lot layout mm -hmm. and how we were going to proceed with it. Um, so I told you we would go back to the drawing board as far as the lot layout, and this is what we've come up with. I believe we dropped off a set of plans today um, to to your board um, and also here for demonstration. We were able to, the biggest difference is that we were able to, like I said, we were able to utilize that easement area because of the recent zoning change. Um, we were able to use that area into the lots and as you can see, um, significantly change the, the configuration of those lots. So um, we have not made any other changes to this point. Um, we've gotten, as Zinc had just uh, shown me, we had gotten uh, review comments from HML Associates, which was the um, representative for uh, consultant for the Conservation Commission, as well as Mr. Peck from the Highway Department. Before we wanted to make sure we uh, we're going to address all the concerns that are there, and the, for the most part, they're very minor concerns. Um, we're going to address them. We're going to we're going to actually meet with them beforehand. And but the point of this meeting tonight is just to come in front of you, make sure that before we go too far ahead of ourselves, that the board is happy with this lot configuration. Um, and you know, get any input that you have um, regarding it. So I'd be happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. But as you can see, I'm sure you remember, but we had all these strips. Yes. Yeah. 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 Strips, yes. Yeah. So these all comply zoning wise. I, oh, uh, another thing I meant to, uh, I wanted to mention was I did meet informally um, with Mr. Nate Darling um, regarding this layout. Um, and he gave it a, a blessing. He feels as though it definitely complies with the zoning requirements from what he could see. Um, and you know, he, I just wanted to make sure that we were on board uh, with him as well, because obviously he's a big factor in this as well. Um, so I did show it to him and he believes that it does comply. I know it's early. Is that gonna have a center island in the, in the um in the turnaround or is that gonna stay just um a big circle as as it's drawn it, it can change obviously well yeah we actually we don't show an island here because this is just a lot layout right um, we can put whatever the board likes <laughs> we're open to whatever personally i'd rather not have an island because nobody maintains them um they become a, an issue for plowing they become an issue for um, people that maintain they become an issue for you know, when you have the curbing the plow trucks hit them i have i have one um a project that I'm work I had worked on a couple of years ago and it's already destroyed. The the curbing's already destroyed from it. Um, but again, it's, it really comes down to your preferences. We'll we'll provide whatever the the board and I would think it would also be the fire department as well would be a major factor in it and yeah. what they would want. Um, but we're open and amenable to whatever. Well, I'm just I'm just looking at it, I thank you for taking the time to get this redone. It looks a lot, lot better. It seems like we're going to have one homeowner with potentially, but that's what it is on that lot. And then the rest of them, it's a little bit, I like it much better. The law that you're referring to or the status change with respect to the usage of the drainage easement, did that in fact pass? Did we talk about that last time as being something that maybe the AG had not yet signed off on? On the last time, he hadn't yet. And, and he has now? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. At, at, they, from what I understand. They, they typically do. They, it's yeah. done. Okay. Nate, uh, Mr. Dowling had mentioned that he sees no issues with it at yeah. all. And, okay. You know, so he is basically just a matter of time. I, I sat down with him probably about two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and he stated that he, you know, he would feel very confident moving forward with what's here. Okay. I haven't been on the board very long. That's. I just wanted to check before if we, oh. you know, if we that it was okay for us to say. 
Absolutely, and, and we were aware of that change when we originally did the layout, but then, of course, the you know, right. we, it wasn't signed, so we had to go with what was in the regulation. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, so that's why we are where we are today. Yeah, this a change like this is typically is is actually in the favor of the developer, and uh, but it's accepted. It's a it's a pretty normal thing to do. Uh, Thirty years ago, uh, if you were looking to hurt the developer at every turn, uh, you you might have not done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it would only have been for that. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's it's it, it makes sense. What's that to get rid of the no, bylaw? The, the, uh, no, of the uh, uh, of being able to use the uh, uh, drainage easement uh, right. as part of that. Right. The. Uh, and then I mean, the, 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 the normal citizen wouldn't know what. Right. Anyway, that that just a, one of those control things. It's uh, I. By the way, I'm delighted with what you did. Appreciate what you've done. Yeah, so I'd like to just to take a consensus from the board, what your thoughts are on the, the new design of the plan. I think it's a hundred times better. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, and to, that one dog-legged lot is uh, really uh, not very, uh, not bad at all. Right. You know, there, there's lots of uh, yeah, and and elements that's because that have of, that. and that's because of wetlands. That's not because of uh, someone <coughs> trying to scrape out a few extra feet. That's you, you're working around a wetland. And the 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 lower one. Yes. And the wetland line that you see before you has been um, it not not officially approved by the commission, but uh, Mrs. Yates, uh, the agent, has been out and reviewed the line, and what you see is what she agrees upon. So nice. I believe that's what the indication will be with the commission as well. And um, so we're not working with something that could change. Um, so we're very confident that the upland area that is shown on here is, is accurate as well, just so that the board has an update of that. We are going to be meeting with the commission on September 12th. Mm -hmm. That's our hearing. We believe we should, or if we should be getting approval at that hearing. If we can address all the concerns from, the, um, from Mr. Peck and um, HML Associates, which we believe we will. Very good. I think you have a positive. Uh, Great. Positive by me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I agree. Thank you very Perfect. much. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Have a have a great night. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, Alice. Stay your seat. Oh no, no, I'm down. Now, as you set up an appointment for another meeting after Concom, correct? Okay, do I need to, that was actually, that's a question I meant to ask. So if I have all the concerns addressed with HML as well as um, Mr. Peck, can I set up a meeting with you beforehand? Or do I have to wait till conservation? Well, they the 12th, right? Correct. When's your next hearing, I guess? I think we have September. Um, yeah, we did. Oh, we do? Yeah. We, we have a September. 7th, it was the, the 21st would be the following one. So September 7th and then the 21st? Mm -hmm. So I don't know how the, how the board would like to do it. I mean, can you can the board approve prior to commission approving? Typically, you can, but I didn't. You know. Yeah, because I we mean, have. Yeah. Why would we do if that? Though? Why wouldn't we wait? Well, because well, we can put him on the agenda. Uh, he can be on the agenda for the September twenty first meeting. Okay. Yeah. Is that what yeah. you mean? Well, I can do. I, I no. I, I was actually asking to be put on the seventh, but I can be put on the twenty first as well if that's what the board would like. That's fine. Why don't we do it after conservation, just in case they tweak something? Absolutely, that makes sense. And that way, we're not coming back. Mm -hmm. And it's right. okay. So put me on for the twenty first. Do I do I meet with um, who do I meet with to notify butters and all that? Do I meet with? Is that um, going to be the hearing? Oh. Notification of butters. <clears throat> because that's what I need. I need to you know I obviously we need to put the legal ad in, uh, notify all the butters for the official public hearing. Do we have to approve it before it can be? We can notify the abutters. I think we we've, we've already seen it. So we've it's already okay. seen it twice now. Right. We're supposed to see it before we put it in the paper. Mm. So, but we have. But seen we've it, have so. seen it okay. twice already. So. But then you approve it at the public hearing, right? And then we approve it at the public. Because I do have the yes. abutters list. Um, okay. And and you could make it for the twenty first, couldn't you? Um, 
for September 21st? I can't. You'd have to be able to. I just did the legal ad for September 7th for Reds Road. Right. So I, if you want me to, I'll start this process. For the 21st. And do we have to advertise twice? And we I will know. have for that. For Reds Road, I do. So I do have to. Is this the same type yeah. of? I believe so. It's exactly yep. the same. All right, so you exactly. give us two notifications and everything. Perfect. Well, you wait for me to give you the legal ad for the abutters. Yes, correct. Okay. Absolutely. I think I have your information. Niles at Venus. Yeah, or well, well, we can yeah, we, we can reach out to you as well. Okay. Yeah. Just to make it formal, uh, uh, I move we schedule a public hearing for September 21st. What do you call it? This uh, Pasco Estates, September, September 21st at 7.30. 7 I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you very much. Okay. We should make sure that at that night we collect the fee because we're going to be doing all the advertising in advance. Thank you. Did you already? Um, that one, I turned in two fees. Seventeen hundred. I've turned in from that. Oh really? And oh. All right. Never mind. Three hundred back in April. They turned in. Yeah. So I have this. Okay. Good thing you said that because. Next on the agenda, Paul. Paul Turner. Thank you. How are you? Good new. Very good. This isn't the okay. okay. Is this merely because now you're keeping that house? Correct. I, not to be a wise guy, but that's as simple as it is, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I like it. It looks good. I drove down there uh, a week or two ago. Oh, thank you. Looks uh, looks excellent. Oh, you, you, you're going to move into one of these. Excuse me? You're going to take one of these. You're going to move into one of these. I'm going to keep the cabin. That's going to be my house. Which is the cabin? This one right here. Right it was originally... Lot six. So it's just a, an exchange of land for um, to re, reconfigure the lot line. That's it. Yeah. Two lots. Was that just to gain the setback? Is the reason? Was that the reason for the? No, process? I had the setback. It's this. Why did, why did you decide to redraw the line? Just out of Originally, I was going to uh, demolish the cabin to just build a new house mm -hmm. set over this way. I decided okay. to keep it. I remodeled the house. Um, I've put a landscape barrier in between the two houses. Mm -hmm. So it just makes sense to have the property line over like that. Okay. More or less aesthetic. Pretty much. Then, yeah. I'll entertain the motion. motion. No, you gonna make the motion. I'll make the motion. Yeah, there you go. You have to entertain it, then somebody makes it. Okay. I do I'll have to entertain on. it. Second. Yeah, second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Changing the lot line for lot. Approving A and R. Okay. And he'll record. 
recorded in time and all that stuff. And here's the. Five, I believe. Is that right? Four. Four in the mylar? No, he gets the mylar. He keeps that. In, yeah, mm -hmm. but we uh, put that. Is that the fifth copy? No, no, I don't think so. We have one, two, three, four. Yeah, and then one more. Oh, you're those you know, legal legalese real estate oh, people. Sorry, you know, yeah. Real estate people. Blue ink. State for Janice always, there's, there's one in the building department. <laughs> Pauline yes. always asks for okay. five. We I'll just gave her five. <laughs> We're trying to cut down on paper. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of extra Well, filing. that's a good, <laughs> that's a good point. Don't get them stuck. You only it. need one copy. You know you're really well, if you know where it is. Yeah, if you know where it is. <clears throat> I'll check with Janice. This is, uh, you know, we have these file cabinets without labels, you know, and that's, that's the sort of office we have. We got them all labeled now, I think. Oh, I'm, I'm just looking over there. I just see. Oh, those are mine. Yeah. I know what's in each one. You know what? Right. What's the licenses? Yeah, I think they all stay with Rita. He's got the most important one. I know where they are. I want to consider this one line of two. Sometimes only take it was. I still take. Oh, one more. Yeah. Too. So it's a, it's a hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's what we would, you would call that a one lot subdivision because one is. Okay. A, 
Well, let me get, I've got the fee schedule. Even though obviously there's two lots involved because right. there always is another lot. Right. But. Yeah, under Form A, approval not required, $100 per lot. Yes. Right. And this is, this is considered one, one lot, lot because it didn't, in, it didn't increase the number of lots. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. We have made up to reader, right? Yep. <coughs> Just to clarify, Zeke, I, I understand what you're saying. You're saying you have two parcels. They're both affected, but you're paying for the one that's, you know, you're only paying for one side. It, it's, I'm, I'm not exactly saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying the, what the state calls it is a one lot subdivision. The, the rules are under the rules for one lot subdivision where you're allowed to move any in any lot line you want anywhere because right and but you haven't increased uh, you haven't right. you're only made a new lot right you haven't you're invented a new lot right. uh, now if you invent a new lot then you it, it's a two it's a different kind of right yeah. is there anything thank else? you for taking yes. the time to teach yes. me these things as we go um, Lots eight and nine you're holding for us. Okay. For the road. And I'd like to get lot eight released. Okay. Um Um Do you have a map of the whole thing? Do you have a plan of it? Um no, I talked to Janice and Reader and they just said to Talk about it. What do you call it, Ledgewood? Ledgewood, yep. How far Nine. along in the construction are you? On. On the, the road? There's about $40,000 left to finish, 100%. Yep. Um, what do you have left to do? I have a uh, sidewalk, subgrades yep. already done, yep. uh, top coat, and sign. Just a couple of little things like that. Retention pond's all done. Mm -hmm. Grass is high. It's all good. In the retention pond? Not in it. On the edges. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's stabilized. Yep. Mm -hmm. When did you stop mowing? Um, I don't know. A couple of months ago. Oh, you already did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's not that high. It's just, it's high. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's growing. How many more foundations to go in other than the one that's at the end? That's the last one? Yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to leave lot nine for now. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. I can't find a, there's an empty slot, says the Ledgewood Estates. It's an empty. Ooh. You went in the file cabinet? The, 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 where the rolls going to It's empty. Oh, Someone's so got it out. So you didn't look Do you know the numbers offhand of what we're holding, or is it just lots? It's You're holding lots eight and nine. Okay. <coughs> but no cash. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just asking. Hey. Mm -hmm. in the right file, Zink. Yep. No. I was, I was I looking for the wrong. It is. <laughs> and it's labeled. <laughs> She's just giving you a hard time. No, the, the rolled drawings. Yeah, what she wrote on here was sign, plan, and roll-up plan. And you couldn't find it in there. She it's, not, it's empty. Okay. She might have it in her, <laughs> her <laughs> office. Well, that, 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 this is the same one. It's all right. Mm -hmm. But do you need a form to uh, We need a form, release yes. the money? Yeah. Do you know what? No. I have a form. There's no, there's no money right now. Well, I'm assuming it's a profile. So. <coughs> Well, uh, um, 
Seishi. What's that? She's got, I've got a file here for release of funds, but this is release of lot. Release is a lot. Yes. Release. Form. Because we're holding the lot as collateral. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. uh, Hereby certify for work in the ground called for by the covenant of David. Well, this is covenant of approval release. Okay, and then she, she rewrote that, yeah. Because it used to be printed in. At the wrong the date, too. Yeah. So print this out, and yeah. you guys can sign it? Well, she has to fill it out. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. I'll print it, and you can fill it out. I, I don't have any objections to it, you know. And, no, and uh, what, what does the last, uh, what does the last estimate say? The, I mean, for finishing, what, what, what did Jeremy? It was like thirty-five. It's like forty thousand. So we're going to finish it. Oh, okay. Okay. More than adequate. One line. Yes. Line. yes. Call before. So. Okay. So this is uh, the sample we can use. You're going to do the paving before the nine, or uh, yeah. probably not. How about that print? Doesn't matter. To me. Well, I'm actually thinking of keeping nine for myself. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, all that stuff. And you said we're holding seven and, I mean, eight and nine? So Correct. Said, and we, we released seven and eight. Yep, seven and eight. Yep. This one says seven and eight. You have seven and eight now. We have to so look you at have the eight. <laughs> Check this out. So you've already sold seven, right? Mm -hmm. Which lots are you holding? I believe you're holding. Let's see. says and said lots are hereby released from the restrictions as to sale and building specified thereon lot lots designated on said plan as follows lot seven lot eight so you have lot eight okay so that means you're holding back nine and then the and cabin six. lot, six. Okay, so you want us to release lot six? If you'd like, sure. Is, is that what you're asking? I, I should have read that before I came. I didn't see that.
Six is the one with the cabin on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that that's of no use to us. Right. idea who wrote this? You guys did it at the meeting mm. when he was here last time. We you wrote that? Someone here did. Mm -hmm. I was at that meeting. Lola looked it up. Okay. I notarized. Okay, that's not my eight. That looks like my writing. Oh. That's why I'm thinking. I'm okay. scratching my head saying. Yeah. I believe you did write it. Yeah. yeah? My, my eight is two zeros laying down. The original thing holding it? Yeah, that's the original cover. Does it say the lots in here? Well, I was just deducing that six to nine. That okay. That six, six he's not going to be building on. He's going to be living on in an existing house. So it's not like. It's not They're like not we, actually holding two lots. We, we, we can't. It, it's not a lot to us, you know? Right. It's not a lot because you don't have to pull a building permit on it. See, the building inspector would look at this and say, um, I can release seven and eight. Mm -hmm. And um, and like you said, eight and nine are the only two that you haven't pulled billing permits for, mm -hmm. for correct. Hmm. I think that's, those are exactly the same, aren't they? This is the recorded one, and this was, because they're notarized much. Yeah, I think this is just the recorded copy, and that was mm -hmm. the original. Do these both go in here? Yes. Yeah, they were both in the, the file. Do you want me to look in there and see if there's any any other releases? No, we only did the one release. No, that's just that. We only okay. did one release. Yeah. So I think you, sh you should be all set. Okay. So we're actually already there at that. Yeah, a lot, nine. Yeah. Yep. It's all in chronological. Uh, Lola had put it all in order. So yep. yeah, that looks like it. Yeah, that goes on top. So they already released. Easy enough. Very good. All right. Okay, so that easy, huh? Yep. Thanks, Paul. So, Thanks, so we still Thank have you. nine. Thank you very much for you. Yes. Yep. What? And and pretty, yeah. And and you pretty soon are going to do the road, right? Because it's you're going to do it this year. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. See what happens on lot eight? Yeah, I'd like to get all the driveways done and yeah. do the whole thing at once. Yeah. So I wish she was coming back. I got some spoils from the blasting that I haven't dealt with that either, so I might uh, wait to You got to sell them. They're all the same color. They're pretty. <laughs> it's a nice, <laughs> nice color. Flat rock, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. color rock. So Just a lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it, yeah. So I don't want be hauling on a new road. Yeah. So. All set? Very good. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Paul. Next on the agenda, the a and plan for Main Street. Yep, that's it. We've already looked at it. Town uh, council has already commented on it, made recommendations. I, I move we sign the plan and waive the fee. Second. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
That was easy. Yeah, it's just too too complicated to talk about. It it says yeah. See, it says right. They stamp right on it that uh, the Lakeville Planning Board endorsement makes no determination as to compliance with zoning. I mean, it just we're, we're just out of it. Uh, well, because the zoning board took care of it. Yeah. It's just Is that the magic pen. Yes, I do. I think I don't know if you heard earlier that the CBA I did. approved the ambulances did, yeah. and they've been recorded. Yeah. So. And it's so it just goes straight to the lawyer. You know, just okay. Yeah. I do think it's a good decision. I was redone this, but that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Pass on this one. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Well, seeing as the zoning board, um, you know, gave them the whatever it is. Variance. Variance. But they, um, they kept that as residential. We didn't rezone that business where the assessor's building used to be. It's not. It's new label they tried the res They tried it once, and it failed at town meeting. Yeah, yeah. And it failed. Oh. I, she has my blue pen. Okay. There you go. Yeah. The plan is back at work. Good. The lot is only good for, it's not good for residential. No, but it'll be used for residential. They can apply for a uh, home occupation. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can have an account. So you've got to live there. Yeah. This is the magic thing. Who would want to live there? Pretty cute upstairs. It is a cute house. It is a cute house, yeah. but that's it's a tough a location. You said so much traffic going by it that you hate to waste the commercial space. You don't have that much exactly. commercial space. Exactly. And it's uh, it's not like it's that's it. That seeks. All right. And excellent commercial. Is there a rubber band with this one? Yep. Yes. Punch list for Cedar Pond. Cedar Pond. Slide up. Sure. You saw Jeremy's punch list? Yes. We did, yes. For the uh, record, I know Dennis. Right? Scott Sweet. Oh, all right, Scott. I've met you before. Yes, oh, yeah. 20 Cedar Pond. Yep, two seat upon Dennis Santos. What do you think about his um, his punch list? Well, we're here primarily to hear what the board thinks about uh, item number two, which has to do with the chain link fence mm -hmm. being installed around the drainage uh, parcels. Um, the rest of it seems pretty self-explanatory mm -hmm. um, by way of cleaning out the, uh, the drainage parcels, cutting the grass, uh, mowing some of the slopes, um, sweeping the roadways, the catch basins, trimming the trees. The, all that stuff is pretty, pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. What was the real surprise, I guess, <clears throat> was this idea of putting in a uh, chain link fence around the drainage parcels, something that mm -hmm. we hadn't heard previously, and we're here to hear what your take is with regard to that, and hopefully get an answer to that so that we can we can push this thing forward and continue to address the items that are on here with the developer, um, and be ready for hopefully a town meeting later this year to get this road approved. Has anyone driven by that location to look at the drainage pond? I have not. No, not for a while. How deep is it? And what are we talking about here? I mean, Jeremy doesn't say this on every property, right? He very, no. Right, we, right. So, I mean, you, uh, I something don't understand. I mean, you either, you either mow it, well, it could or be you the, fence it. it but could but be if the you're height. mowing it, why is it? Uh, I don't know what the depth would be. Yeah, I, I mean, it, the thing is, it's it's pretty deceiving because it's a rather large mm -hmm. drainage area, which I think was made for basically, we had, we had the 100 year storm that we had <clears throat> years back. We had the 17 inches over the course of the, yeah, yeah. the two storms. We had major issues in the development. And what happened is 
came back to the planning board. There was a redesign of the plan. They they cut in kind of a, we'll call it between two two parcels, mm -hmm. kind of a canal that leads to a large retention area. Mm -hmm. The retention area is enormous in my mind. It's rather large, and when you start talking about putting in chain link fence around this entire area, it's going to be. Was that the one on the right hand side? As you on go the left. In, on the left hand side, as you in. go in. Um, you know, probably three quarters of the way down. Um, there's so it's a connection between. If you think about the, the subdivision, you go in and then there's the big circle which is Cedar Pond, and then there's two lots in the middle there. And what happens is there's a, there's kind of a, a drainage area behind here that then feeds to this other one that goes across the street, and goes into the large retention area. And the retention area is primarily dry. I mean, it's not something sure. that has, you know, a lot of standing water in there. It's, it's a huge area that the water just, if we do get any water from a storm, dissipates, and that's the end of it. So, you know, in terms of standing water in that that retainage area, it just doesn't seem to be a major issue from, from what we've seen over the years subsequent to that storm and subsequent to the installation. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're talking about gradual slopes on, on the sides. You know what the ultimate depth is in terms of where they they started at, and, and in terms of what they ended up with the, the lower level. I, I don't know what that actual number is. Um, it, it's limited access as well. I mean, it's literally set back between two neighbors' homes. Hmm. So for you know the proverbial child to drive down there isn't really feasible. Not something that would happen. My boys would find it, I'll tell you that, but I also think they look terrible. I'm just going to come out and say I've been <clears> around a couple of neighborhoods. Uh, the one that comes to mind is I thought we have a development, maybe Jennifer Lane? Yep. And I think Jennifer Lane has a large retention pond with a fence, and it does not, it, for that neighborhood, it just, I just don't know why. The fence doesn't look good. No, it really doesn't. Uh, but I don't know why they would have put it in. Was it a liability concern? I maybe Jeremy's thoughts right. were... That's so the question is this are these drain shots that the town is ultimately going to end up on and be liable for are we are they i don't know okay are they, those drainage are they separate drainage shots or are they on someone's property well i'm assuming it's on someone's property but i guess that's not a good thing to no, do I, I wouldn't no if it's Maybe drainage parcel a yeah it's all by itself and we own it at some well, point we, mm -hmm. if, if they, the developer doesn't pay the taxes on it i see you're right. Okay. I mean, I mean, in terms of liability, we have a significant pond basically across the street in the middle of the development. Yes. So if that's we were, the old concerned. irrigation pond. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, yes, yeah, it is. It yes, correct. Yeah. They pumped out of it. They, they actually had two. They made a man-made one, mm -hmm. and then there was actual cedar pond, which yeah. Yeah, they, they did have pumps pond. that they would pull out of that pond to mm -hmm. actually irrigate the box. Yes. Mm -hmm. The town doesn't right, were they are they part of someone else's parcel? The pond? Yes. No. They're not. Open space. Nobody owns it technically. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the lots in the subdivision, you know, there's a number of butters to the pond, but the actual pond is not owned by anybody in the subdivision. Um, okay. Because there's actually butters on Long Point Road, which also abut the pond. But you know, when you look at the lot lines, some of those lots go into the pond a little ways. Um, and we have some open space that abuts the pond as well a as a neighborhood you know we have an hoa which which kind of addresses another item down the list here in terms of forming an association to handle some of the trees and mulch and islands near the entrance and open space um, with a written operation and maintenance plan so that's something that we don't view as being a hindrance we have an hoa already <clears throat> established so we can come to some I, I guess agreement at some point with regard to what you really want us to do on the center island and everything but Right, um, and also with what you want to do with the island. Sure, you I mean, guys live there. We we essentially are going to maintain it. We're going to right. we're going to mulch it and, mm -hmm. and keep it looking, you know, weed it, you know, getting rid of all the weeds and and just making sure that it's presentable in the entrance and, and everything along those lines. And that's what the HOA is there for to mm -hmm. purify the neighborhood mm -hmm. and deal with any of the open space that we have. So, but so I, I don't want to digress and move to number six, but coming back to no. I guess the uh, the parcel, you know, in mm -hmm. terms of what the thoughts are about whether a fence would have to be installed there. This really was a surprise when, when we got to, to this point here, and it was a question for the board, I guess, as, as he did his inspection. We didn't ask for it before. No. No one else asked for it before. It's, it's not a reasonable it's, request. It's not on the drawing? Yeah. 
It's it's not a. Uh, I mean, we've never seen any indication of it. No. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know in terms of like the as bill or. No, the drawing. The, the actual, original the actual drawing. Original. The instruction yeah. drawings. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know the answer to that. No, the, the drawing that's filed with. Yeah. With. Did Janice go through the file today, Brian? Yeah. To see if she saw this and mm -hmm. she said. Did the planning board ever bring this up before? And she took the time to go through the seat upon file. Mm -hmm. She couldn't find anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, she didn't check minutes of the meetings, but she couldn't find no. anything. No, but we would, have been, so. we would have asked for it to be on the board. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we, we kind of asked it. She couldn't you find anything. Give them some yeah. more notice than this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd entertain a motion that if it isn't on the plan, I don't think we should require right. it. Right. I, I, I agree, and I will make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I mean, as far as the fence goes. The, yeah, yeah. I mean, if there's some other. That's all I was yeah. considering. Yeah. Okay. Is, now, do you guys want to go right through the list? Is that what the deal is? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if we if we need to, but if, you, if you'd like to, we can. Um, Not particularly. I thought you guys would, <laughs> I thought you guys would like to, to, you know, make an effort with doing some of it not I mean I'm not going to address everything here yeah no, no so the, the real issue was trying to get a, an answer to this one because this would right. be a, a, a real roadblock to doing this yes so we got the answer to that yeah um, the rest of the items will be we'll be talking to the developer to say hey look we got to get this stuff done and get this all scheduled out and, yes. and addressed and then schedule I guess a subsequent review by Jeremy to, to come out and take another look at things and make sure he's comfortable with what was done with regard to making sure that trees are not over hanging sidewalks or mm -hmm. anything like that right. and, and deal with the street signs as well so yeah because everything else on here I think he has a, a legitimate um, mm -hmm. issue on sure well just out of curiosity where you guys are the HOA right there will you elect do you believe you'll elect to have that parcel the drainage section um, insured for liability do you have a concern I don't know what other neighborhoods do I'm just curious That's an interesting question um, at this point, we own and have had deeded to us two parcels. One parcel that leads down to the pond um, off of Cedar Pond Road, and then we have another parcel that is, again, open space off of Quickishan. Those are the only two parcels that we uh, are responsible for as an HOA in terms of actually having deeded to us. Okay. Anything else that he may have in terms of reservation of rights in the roadways and all the other items that um, maybe it was not a lot and, and maybe just has drainage on it now at this point. We don't actually have any of that. We're, we're not legally um, owners of, of those particular parcels at this point. You, you, and it's not considered open space, so we, right. it, we didn't have it deeded to us. <clears throat> yeah, right. And the, the, the town only takes a, it doesn't take the title to the road. Unless and there the was circles. A, right. Uh, ever. It, ever. Right. It, it, just, it just takes an easement. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you you might have you might have a general liability policy anyway. We have we have a so, HOA insurance yeah. which, which is covering um, general liability for whatever yeah. that comes up that yeah. you know we may be named as as a, a potential party to some lawsuit, especially with having the pond in the neighborhood and, and we purchase signs to put up you know no trespassing no swimming things right. of that nature. Right. We're trying to address all those items, but. That's off of our open space, which abuts the pond, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to deal with all those items as well. Right. But this other item here, like I don't know, like initially, obviously this what this wasn't a parcel. It was basically, it was maybe supposed to be like a future roadway going over to where T L Edwards right. was. That's what if it was. If you think back to the initial plans, that he had, he initially had an idea that he, maybe he was going to extend over there and buy some more land from T L Edwards and put in a kind of a second phase and that never happened so I don't know if this particular parcel might be on what was initially maybe some, just some potential future expansion of the, of the subdivision I, I just don't know hmm I remember the conversations as being he thought he had lost some lots he did he did he, it was range. supposed to be 31 31 lots initially and ended up being 30 was the final number and that's one of the open space areas on Quickshan, which ultimately I think he lost a lot over there to to, to deal with some of the, the water issues that were. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You should have lost them just for naming them, using his <laughs> names. That was his real estate company. That's. 
So, so I guess <clears throat> item number six is my other question. So is there something that we need to do now at this point with regard to, you know, form an association, handle, we have an association, but I guess that next step of a maintenance plan, is there something we need to be doing right now in the next couple of months to deal with this, or is this something that we can, we can work toward over the course of time in terms of a written plan or a maintenance plan, I guess, agreed upon with the town? I'm, I'm not sure what if there's some formal agreement that we have to start drafting or, or what the situation is with regard to that? Um, you might want to stop in to see J Jeremy and see what, um, I contend that we already have that. If you look yeah. at both the bylaws and the covenants within the HOA, Yep. It, it describes for, what you. Yeah. It calls for yeah. a written maintenance plan. Like for instance, we're going to mulch very yeah, shortly the entire area. So I'd, I'd yeah, <clears throat> I'd um, address that, Jeremy. Yeah, 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 because we are we're responsible. If all you the have time, do you have time? Yeah. Like does someone have time during the day to see him? Yeah, we'll get, yeah, we, we can, can we can work that out. It's so great that you have that. My neighborhood doesn't, and we have two, div and people just pay for it. I mean, we just have to chip in, and people have the people that live on the cul-de-sac choose to do it. So it's great that you guys have that HOA, and probably it's what he's asking bad. for. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, but he probably is saying this because he just wants to have some expectation of what it is you guys are going to be doing, so that if someone calls him to complain, he can say, "Well, actually, right? Wouldn't you think?" Yeah, we, we certainly don't want this overgrowing and becoming right. an eyesore coming into the subdivision and right. having problems there. That's certainly not what anybody in the neighborhood wants. You know, it's tough to get consensus of 30 people, oh, sure. but that's something that we actually have consensus on is that, you yeah. know, this this entrance is, is for everybody's benefit. benefit. Yeah, it really is. It really does. It makes the neighborhood look that much better. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you have that type of grand entrance, mm -hmm. that, that's going to increase everybody's value and, and mm -hmm. be good for the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Right. Be good for the town. You get, you get sure. a beautiful neighborhood with a with a great entrance. Yeah, absolutely. Finally, <laughs> there you go. So we'll work with Jeremy on on, on that particular issue then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's perfect. Thank you. So I can give the planning board an update, Brian. Um, the selectmen voted to lay out the uh, roads, yeah. the three roads. So the next step is now, uh, I think, on the. I haven't sent the letter yet to Jeremy and to the planning board to say they voted to lay it out. We're waiting. Um, Jeremy's always already done his punch list. That's usually what we ask for. And they'll vote to approve the layout. Those two steps happened before town meeting. I talked to Mike Renzi today, November 9th, 2015. Two years will be November 9th, 2017. Right. So, I talked to the chairman of the selectmen today. We're going to aim to have an annual town meeting on November 13th, mm -hmm. the Monday after. Sounds and, great. Uh, hopefully, uh, you'll get a quorum there. We have other employees. Get all your neighbors uh, there. We, absolutely. We'll hopefully, we'll have 60 there. people there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we we'll might have some zoning for, from ZBRAC on that. So and some other smaller and it won't be a long town meeting but that's what we're aiming for is but the important thing after town meeting the certification of titles have to be uh, recorded so the developer's attorney is attorney jacoby i don't know that he's ever done that it's 120 days that they have from the date that the town accepts the roads to get those certifications recorded. That didn't happen at Woodland Ridge, if you remember. Yep. They had to go back and, and do, do the again. whole <coughs> thing all over again. So yep. I'm just concerned <coughs> that Attorney corner. Jacoby isn't going to get, you, you will sign the mylaw after town meeting. It's getting those certifications done. So I'll be glad to talk to, um, you talk to the developer, Dennis, or okay. We'll make sure to contact them tomorrow. Yeah. And, um, we, we have an ongoing communication with Jack, Jacoby, yeah. as well as Ron. Um, you know, we, as you know, we've been pushing this issue all along, and it's because we want this to be accepted. And we are in constant communication with them, and we'll, we'll be on them to basically get this stuff addressed. Um, it's in their interest, and it's yeah. in our interest. So 
but it's more so in there. It's just because all the while he, he's got to continue to take care of that road, and um, we'll continue to press press the issues with him to make sure this is done right. Because he's got to pass the certificate, certification of title pass our town council, and Bob, man, our local attorneys are used to this. You know, there's no problem with it. But I don't know if Jack Jacoby is aware. Well, of so I, let's I think give he him does a lot. They, they, he does quite a bit of this. They, they've been around a lot. Yeah. You know, okay. over the years, and yeah. I don't think this is his first subdivision here in Lakeville. Um, right. I could be wrong, but um, we'll make sure that we we mention that to him. But that's another thing to consider for the planning board going forward. Uh, this whole process, um, the developer should be paying for our legal fees for road acceptance because right now, uh -huh. the certification of title, we haven't come up with a policy to hand developers on new, you know, they should be covering this cost. It's not cheap. Absolutely. I, I, I agree, and that's not the only, that's not the only thing that developers beat us out of. Mm -hmm. Right, but they, all of Jeremy's to, time, and 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 yeah, all, every time we call a lawyer, I mean, and we don't we don't send those bills out to everybody. You know, that's I'd like a, to come mm -hmm. up with something when a new subject, like the one you mm -hmm. just talked about tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Pasco State. That's I don't know who the developer is, but they should know up front. You know, these are the steps to get the road accepted, and you're going to be responsible yeah. for these costs. Yeah, we had, we actually go out of our way to. And if we got thirty, them. you said thirty houses in that subdivision. Mm -hmm. and have that's you ever a lot of us? certification, yeah. title certifications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to run into a problem before snowblower plowing season. So he's got November rates. Right? So you're talking November, December, January. That's sixty days. That's only but halfway it's through. But not accepted. Right. So we would have to all order. that stuff's recorded. Right. So you don't want to end up. That'll be much, much more expensive. Well, I'm hoping that he understands what this is because I, I'm not exactly sure what certification of titles are. Yeah. Um, I'm not a developer. But Never have, have been, but me. I will be, uh, yeah. will be mentioning this to him and make sure that they are aware of this and that they got to get Go it done as soon as that is approved done. and get right. it done. Right. Mm -hmm. Town meeting of votes. Planning board can sign. I think the board of selectmen have to sign the mylaw too for road acceptances. Is but you're saying that night they could sign. Is, really? Is this something? Is places. that something that can be done ahead of that that vote? Like the certification of titles, or that's like he can all the legal work be done? He wouldn't. Re he could can't be, be recorded, set. but right. But you process. can have it all kind of all pulled together, I guess. Okay. Good to know. As long as no one sells a house between now and we won't allow it. Right. <laughs> See, it all depends on how the developer sold the lots. Some of them are really easy if they retained an interest in it. I'm not quite sure the legal terms of it, but it's how they sold the lots to everybody in the subdivision, whether or not the developer retained an interest in the roadway or they gave the interest in the roadway to the homeowners. It all goes back to how each lot was sold. Right. I think he retained an interest. He, he has a reservation of rights in the roadway. I know there's a, an actual mm -hmm. document that's out there that, along with the protective covenants and the, and the trust document and everything like that, there's okay. a reservation of rights in the roadway. It's one of the things that is one of the documents that they handed to us. So saying that he basically has still all the rights to do whatever. Well, whatever once we adopt the roadway, would that still apply? We just want an easement. No, we, we only well, get an easement, an easement. So, okay. so they're, okay, right. they're Home, right. homeowners association right. will st wind up with a fee you know owning owning the fee for the road so we don't have to worry about the one one more retention fund they're going to own plenty of property yeah okay mm -hmm. all right thank you thank, thank you for your time thanks thank you So are we going to discuss the update, sir? You too. Can if you Night. want to. Which one? We. we I will. Oh, I did you need I, to open it? I forgot to make. I'll just. Uh, I'll make it quick uh, as to what the zoning board review advisory committee. Never mind, Peter. We're just going to listen to Peter. Okay. Hey, Peter. What do yeah. you got? So, one of the uh, it it keeps coming up as a um, as a subject. That's all uh, that we should uh, revisit because. And I made it. I made it clear to Nate and the other 
committee members that we never see a lot of the lots if they don't meet all the requirements. Nate sees them though. Uh, people come in and, and uh, show him uh, numerous um, prints and uh, he says right away, yep, setback, you're good, you square footage, you're good, up on circle, you're good, you know, mm -hmm. it's either good or bad for all those points. Um, there's, uh, so the upland circle question is, can we either A, reduce it, can we B, well, w one thought by somebody is get rid of it altogether. I said, uh, my, my, my feeling was that that's a bit much. Um, the other one is, uh, does it have to be um, at the, um, you know, right at the um, abutting the street, you know, uh, right um, where, where you have all your frontage. And um, that that seemed to uh, of the seven members um, w would that flex enough to help people that uh, maybe have property that they can't do anything with that they want to do with. And it's Nate's feeling that they may that that in itself might be enough to help these people, um, you know, out of a jam. And we're not trying to you know do anything for people, but I w is the is the restriction just too much? You know. Is it, uh, is, it, is it just too much with all the other numbers that they have to reach is, is, the, is the only question, you know? Right. And so, you know, all they want us to do is just discuss it and, and come back with, um, you know, um, thoughts on it. That's all. And, not, and, and then um, give them something to chew on at, at our next meeting, you know, why it's there. You know, we know why it's there. This, this last... Um, neighborhood that we saw tonight is a perfect example mm -hmm. of uh of um how restricted it is yeah. and then have a uh, an engineer work it the only way they can and you know had that road been you know only 750 feet and with four lots all still dog-legged we wouldn't have had uh, uh, they 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 wouldn't have we had to come back you know right um so it, it it's merely just a uh you know just a exploratory as to as to flexibility that's all well as far as the reason why it it is there right is because we need 175 feet of frontage correct and it's to keep this from going on right so it doesn't you know it doesn't like put all these bizarre shaped lots out there right i mean i was you're right that looks good when we drive through that's the why we did it yeah i know it makes sense i'm telling you because i was you on the there. board yeah. <laughs> yeah and and um if a hundred foot was what we first um adopted right it was a hundred foot circle because and then I missed a meeting, and or two meetings, and all of a sudden it went to 160. Right. Um, these are all these are all points that I don't really have that history of, mm -hmm. and, and why we're at the number that we're at. And uh, so I was good with 100. Mm -hmm. So was, because there's not a lot you can do with the frame right. a lot with a hundred foot circle in the middle of it. It's like, you know, a dog choking on a bone, you know? Right. Um, um, 160 it's big. is big. It's, yeah. That means you have to go back like, uh, you have to go back like 50 feet before you can make any angles at all, really. Correct, right. Um, so, I mean, I'd be amenable to, uh, um, to a hundred foot circle because that's what we had first Right. I don't know why we went to 160. Why would these issues? So we have we have a plan right now. What we're talking about is an exception, a few exception lots. Can they not go through an appeal process to get this? No, they no. can't. No, we, we are. We as a board are not allowed to give. Uh, uh, we're not allowed to make relief on one of our yeah. rules and regs. There isn't another organization. There isn't another part. Yeah, ZBA. ZBA would be the zoning board of appeal. They, they wouldn't, they wouldn't yeah. give it to them? Because it's self-created. Right. It's very obviously self-created. It used to be a lot, I mean, it used to be a big open, open field. Um, you came along and put that line there. You know, I mean, there's just right. no, no way of explaining it. 
image. You, you have a subdivision, and this is how you can feed your lots. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean you, you, you have to follow the. It's all you got. Right. Well, that's a, that's a, right. No, no exceptions. Right, but he's talking about if we had this upland circle, right, and there was a lot. Let's say someone owns a piece of property squeezed in between somebody else that they. Oh, they people want. do in town. They do, and they have yeah. a frontage. But they Correct. can't. But they can't fit it within the guidelines. So what you're saying is move the circle to a different part of the parcel, which would be non-conforming because we like them all in front. The reason why we want them in the front is so you don't get from the street view or as you drive around that you you're seeing the bulk of the lot up front rather than flip flopped, and you're seeing a you, you know. But with there's no requirement to build the house on correct in the circle. Oh, okay. None at all. Okay. It just the circle just has to be there. You don't and, have to build there. And if you had a, a large lot that snaked down and then went out in the back, mm -hmm. you can just do the road. Yeah. Do it back there. Okay. And we'll waive the construction of the road and one lot subdivision. Right. There you go. Right. So that alleviates that whole problem. I thought because the circle has to touch the front line, mm -hmm. right. you couldn't do the driveway. And that's what they said. There's a lot of nice lots that there's they can't get the upland to touch the 160 foot wasn't the problem it was touching it's the front. touching the frontage but you yeah. can draw a road right. I'm drawing your road on my property I'm gonna put a color sack and that's where my circle is gonna be oh okay you it, it would just be a private road in, the, in those instances yeah. that's and a very I big want, lot and I yeah. well yeah uh, but there's some that three are not nearly lot. that big do you know right. what I mean three acre perfect lot it, you know what I mean where where you could put you know go through the upland yeah and still have your house at the back corner yeah. minding all setbacks with your frontage with right and and would a retreat all or all or well, I would like to I, I would still like to reduce it down to 100 feet because I, I don't know why they went up to 160 right because I remember the first meeting they said 160 I said 160 you should be 100 mm -hmm. what happened Oh, we changed it. Oh, okay. I'd really like to understand that better, though, because it seems like, I don't know, everything's, every time I question a decision we've made, turns out there was some really good thought that went into it. Like, what, what was that decision? You know what I mean? And I hesitate to, to think about changing anything without understanding. There's, we had a lot I mean? of, like, um, uh, like, configuration bylaws where they were saying, you know, the first, you know, the first 40 feet of your um, lot has to be perpendicular with the roadway. Okay. Really? Okay. So you come 40 feet off of your, or I think it was 40 or 60 or something like that. It had to be perpendicular. Whatever, is, whatever with the, the frontage is. Yeah. So if, yeah, it, 40 it, feet. If, if it's residential, it'll be 40. If it was commercial or industrial, it might be 60 feet. Mm -hmm. But whatever your frontage is, it couldn't uh, get smaller. Than the than the frontage than the right. 175 or the two, whatever it had to be, so uh, and you'll see that on all the drawings, all the people, uh, all of this our big engineers, it. It. Yep. always sh always that. show the first 40 feet or 50 feet, depending on where the roadway and who exactly where the roadway starts, as being not tapering, and then it could it can go bigger, and then you get the, it couldn't get smaller, and then you get the guy that brings his his front lot line off of a cul-de-sac. So now it's got to be perpendicular to the cul-de-sac. So you come up to the cul-de-sac, the cul-de-sac goes like this, so this lot line has to go back this way. Yeah. And this guy's over here has to go this way. So what do you do with the pie in between? I see, yeah. yeah. And, you know? right. yeah okay. and it also winds up being back further. So, the, so, yeah. so they actually, uh, because it's back further, it it gets more complicated, but they do it. So there were the, the, the guys. They start. They start back there, and they work their way forward. So there are a lot of gyro yeah, but you can't if you have a if you have a cul-de-sac and the thing opens up like this, and this guy comes perpendicular this way. This guy, I this guy here, uh, I guess that does come perpendicular that way. Yeah, they lose, but but yeah, yeah. But it, something ends up getting screwed, because yeah. this one comes off perpendicular. This guy over here takes a beating. You know what I mean? It's got to be above. Yeah, I, 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 I was hoping on the first the, the, the first time I, I I wrote two of them, 
you know, the, 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 and one of them turned out to be more too complicated. But it was the what in which the buildable portion of each lot is connected to the required frontage by a strip of land not narrower than the required frontage at any point measured from that point to the nearest point of the opposite sideline. And it sounds like a bunch of goons, but that's what it, right. in geometry talk, that's the way it, it turns out. And all of the engineers and all of the lawyers that we deal with know about that because Nate Darling's grandfather used to have these cardboard, uh, from what I understand, used to have little carpet, cardboard templates on the 40,000 scale and, see, and that he'd use on the drawing to make sure that really that it worked you know he okay. he had ones that were the depth the length of the frontage by the depth of the frontage and he'd lay the thing on there and see if that worked or not Can I tell and so everyone nice? and that's uh, why and Lakeville, looks so nice. and that's why Lakeville looks like it like that <laughs> and it, that's, that's it's perfectly good. reasonable but it's not in writing <laughs> but in, and and the state suggests that it would be in writing and so I'll bring it up for this I mean is that state? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It's uh Yeah. Yeah. Everybody takes the same thing that this guy Schmidt wrote and they put their own title on the front. So it's hard <laughs> to tell uh, exactly. It's not these people didn't make this. It was uh they're not in a subdivision. Correct. Aren't they just mm -hmm. someone that's on this land forever, you know? Right. And that's not a form A. Somebody who wants to cut a form A out of a lot. Correct. Yeah, that's out of another does, piece yeah. of lot. So it's not on subdivision. Or already existing, and they have the lot is already there, and uh, they've never been able to do anything with it. And well, they've it, revisited Nate several times. You if know? there's a lot that's there, that's an existing lot. Pre, pre existing, but no house on it? Yeah, then they don't need an upland circle. Then, then that must not be the issues. Yeah. It right. must be more than one, and, they, and they're dividing it. Or they just, know? right, they yeah. haven't, right. Yeah. Um, but it wouldn't be on a new subdivision. They don't go to need Yeah. Like no, on a new subdivision. Yeah. We no. On a new subdivision, but however. I asked how many times this comes up, because I'm curious. We never see this. Right. It's already done, and you know what I mean? Uh, so he says it comes up more than you'd think. Um, and uh, but you know I think they all realize that this this kind of decision um, makes a um, it can make um, somebody's day and it can also ruin somebody's day mm -hmm. you know uh, so you have to be careful because um, you can't oh yeah you know what that upland circle is a bad idea let's get rid of it well there's gonna be like a lot of people that be like whoa 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 I've had an empty lot next to me you know my entire life you know now you're mm -hmm. saying you you know oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to expect that. right, yeah. mm -hmm. um, but uh, this the, it, because it comes up. That's the purpose of that committee. If right. if it never came up, it wouldn't even be an issue. Right. Well, you I know? I don't I don't favor eliminating it because no. I've seen, I have already mentioned I've that I've seen and, the misery you know, of it. Right. And I can bring people. I can show people a subdivision. You know the misery of it. And and this last subdivision that just came in tonight is a perfect example of that easement change in the spring alleviating some of mm -hmm. that from from Nate ever seeing this issue right so it's 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 getting closer do you know what right. I mean mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, so we have a meeting in a couple in a week or two uh, I'll um, talk to them about um, about the reduction and see what yeah. their thoughts are because you know Nate will see the the plans that people bring in and I'll ask them does a hundred help you know right and it, I can't see Changing it to 100, hurting the other people around. Do you know what I mean? All it, all it, if it, if it frees up some people um, and lets them do what they want to do, then, yep. You know what I mean? So. And if if he wants reason. if he wants to see where I had the problem, tell him, on the other side of the train bridge on Howland Road. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Have him pull that f subdivision. Right. Okay. This the uh, the first one we started with this morning. No, other side. Uh, or, I mean, one on the other side of the road. And towards. Uh, I know right where he's talking about. I know exactly the subdivision. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. I know. I built some of the houses. Okay. And I thought it was perfectly fine, and I was looking at him like, "Wow, that guy's backyard's right there, right behind this house is right. his backyard." 
<clears throat> just enough from the squeeze the house in there. The, uh, uh, the just for everyone's edification, uh, the, the one at uh, on Cross Street, uh, that you know not only uh, did we get relief from you know that that change, but there were also uh, uh, there were several lots there that didn't comply right, that with, that, with that angle. So there were there were there were more problems that would have, we would have gotten into even without even if the road were a different length. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 there were still other issues that were that were minor compared to you know the the big one the the, the big one you know solving that changed a lot of stuff. But that wasn't the only reason. I know. So just right. just so everyone. I heard. I, yeah. Yeah. You know, just so everyone knows, there were plenty of things that were solved there. It wasn't just the length of the yeah. road. Was that their main thing when you had, when you? Uh, for us right now, um, th we got, um, you know, we have like a, um, a list of stuff we're compiling mm -hmm. uh, and everything's going to come to us. But uh, that's more like uh, before we could do anything, they wanted to see what our thoughts were uh, about the Upland Circle and about how, how we could uh, work with it. The other stuff, sort of they're going to come up with a, a, a change and they'll present it to us and mm -hmm. then we'll have the appropriate hearings before november 13th mm -hmm. um most most of it's fairly straightforward and um housekeeping issues tend to just keep mm -hmm. coming up because sure. we started at the very beginning and we're working to the end so we're a little bit after like the appendix right now mm -hmm. yeah, a few pages definitions, in. definitions <laughs> and <laughs> appendix yeah <coughs> Zoning on Staple Shore and Industrial B. Industrial B, we were going to do this past uh, thing, but it wasn't. Uh, we wanted to handle it the same way we rezoned anything, and, and um, a butters uh, should be a uh, thing. It's the uh -huh. best thing, and um, it's. Uh, and owners. Yeah, owners and a butters. Yeah, the owners he didn't even know about it. Correct. Um, and um, so that's going to be all done for this meeting and uh that's a that's just a cleaning up of the map of lakeville so that's uh it seems i haven't heard a single person say that they didn't want to do that you know so except for maybe who has an industrial piece of property on a an industrial b property and the biggest one is uh Bay State, State sewage and, and nate has talked to him right and they're there you yeah. know um so he could almost call his agricultural well, uh, is that on yeah. agricultural land? But he was thinking even if it, were, if it was just some business, right? Because he's got what eighty acres, right? So Nate will talk. You know, well, if it's just businesses, then he the couldn't. Then he couldn't yeah. stockpile. Then he couldn't have any piles of anything. Uh, at least with industrial, he's allowed to have piles of stuff, yeah. like manure. Whatever. Anything. You're not That's allowed to have piles of anything unless you're industrial. You know about piles of stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guy across the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just. Who's not allowed to just, have it on an in industrial B? You know, I was just, I was just helping you. I was just giving you a softball there. <laughs> um, you through with your? I am. I, I have yeah. one short report. The, 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 there was some committee uh, of uh, the. MS4 permit stuff, and it's it's been it's been canceled again. This is something that's been around since the late 80s. Uh, a lot of people have been following it, the stormwater con control oh, yeah. stuff, but it's gone again. And maybe in a few years it'll come back. Come back. What's that? The stormwater. Having to well, do it. Well, the permit, the the MS4 permit. Yeah. It's been pushed out exactly one year, but I think this is something different. The EPA this, this has been this this says it's pushed out one one year, but yeah. it's but but we were only planning that one year anyway. But this this is all, yeah. It it looks like it'll die. You don't think the mass DEP will pick it up? I don't think so because they haven't got the money to pay. For all the stuff that needs doing, it, well, it they just mandate it. We do it. No, no. I mean, there's a lot of money. To, there's an awful, oh, awful lot is. of money to spend, and towns are running out of. You can have it. Okay. Yeah, 
Uh, no, I, it, it was just interesting. But, uh, but, but, but it costs money is the only problem. Everyone agrees with everything they do. Of, co of course you want clean water, but, 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 you, but it's a lot of money. Yeah, see, just till next July. Mm -hmm. But with the town, we're still moving, up, moving forward with our notice of intent. You know, we're not going any faster, right. but uh, filing our notice of intent yeah. and just gives us more time. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, uh, but, but it, it's, it's really been around since the, mm -hmm. since the 80s. I mean, the people, people started yeah. with, uh, people created some small businesses. Uh, you know, like small civil engineers and stuff like that, thinking that the whole world was going to change uh, and they were going to be doing all that and everything just went away. <laughs> it just it, it, it never, never ever came through and now it's all of a sudden it's, what, 30 years later? As far as stormwater protection goes yeah. and SWIP and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, I'll tell you something, um, Walmart follows that because yeah. they've gotten sued so many times by the federal government. MWRA sure did. Yeah. They took it seriously and they uh, created a whole harbor out of it. Mm -hmm. But uh, fortunately for us, most of our urbanized areas are the state's problem. Yeah, not well, the MWRA, towns. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. They're around state properties, state roads. So, do we want to uh, approve? Meeting minutes for July 13th. Is anyone? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I read them. I read them too. So do I. Second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is there any, uh, we already scheduled two new, two meetings, right? Mm -hmm. Tell about. I cannot be there for 9 7. Okay. I'm traveling. And the other one was the 921, right? Mm hmm Which is going to be a public hearing, right? The 7th. Yeah. And both, now both dates. Yeah. Both dates are going to be a yeah. public hearings. Yeah. And Upland Circle is also in our, uh, in our subdivision rules. Uh, Always has been. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. yeah. 100, 160 foot. Yeah, no, it says as defined, Yeah. and it refers back to, so it oh, could nice. change to whatever. So you don't have to change anything here. Just, it's just whatever right. the town carries, but it it does cross-reference it. Can I just ask the board one question about the legal ad? Um, I got the proof back for the hearing for Red's Road. Do I have to wait for the ad to actually be published on August 17th to give that to the... Um, I'm supposed to give it to the engineer, and he's going to notify. He does the mailing to the abutters. The engineer does. Yeah. Oh, we don't. That's his cost, right? He's just to show he did it. Oh, is he going to? He's going to mail out the. Yeah. He has to do certified letters. He gets doesn't the he? legal ad. Um, I have the certified list of abutters, yep. and then they have to bring in the cards cities. to you. They yep. charge the developer to do the return. I give it to him as soon as you call. It comes That's here. It. Okay. This is just the proof, so we have the certification. Right. right. Do I have to cut the actual legal ad out of the paper, or can I just send him the proof? What is the proof? Okay. Pauline was in today, and I didn't even think to ask her. Okay. I think that's what we used to get. Yeah. See, the, that, that first time it shows up in the paper is at least two weeks before. It is, the 17th So it, it does the give them two weeks, but... This gives them even more. More time, yeah. So. Okay. Better. Well, we adjourn. Adjourn. We all can adjourn. We'll be. Is there any old business? Do we have any old business we haven't already talked about? <laughs> so is Janice all right? Standby. I kept him waiting. She's leaving to go to Disney. Oh. It's an early, early Disney. flight. Taking her uh, grandson and her. It's going to be hot. Kids. Cool. No, he hasn't been cool. there before. No, it's a tough time. I went in July. It's not too busy, though. Mm -hmm. Was it Was it just as busy? Yes. Always busy. And this goes back 25 years ago. Oh, wow. It makes the water parks fun. 
Yeah. So you didn't adjourn? Nope. <laughs> Do you have a handout that we give to um, to builders when they're putting in a subdivision? Do they get, is there something, like they have a package? Given something to planning board many years ago, and it never went anywhere. For, uh, there's there, it should be pretty easy to understand because we have by that. any Massachusetts lawyer and any experienced Massachusetts developer. It's almost impossible for anybody else to understand it fully. It's just really difficult. I mean, you, you, you know, it, it's not the kind of thing it's really easy to tell somebody how to do. It just you know, like for Paul Turner, this is his first subdivision in right. Lakeville. You know, other developers, you know, over the years have done several developments, so they know the process. Mm -hmm. But for somebody like Paul Turner, yeah. he doesn't know what is all, down the road. How uh, is his road going to get accepted? Uh, this but the recapturing of, of expenses is critically important and should be passed to the developer. And if we can encourage that right in the front end with a handout or some policy, let's do that. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking if we take all those fees that we issue at the beginning, we just extend those to be that when the uh, well, actually, road is accepted. The new. Um, town accountant did give me a printout of a lot of money in the planning board's account for subdivisions that are long since done. I've got to do research, you know. Um, the money should go back to some of the developers. Uh, uh, I had given it to Lowell just before she left. But that's a whole other project of fees that right. need to either be uh, turn back to the developers. Fees um, being turned back? Yeah. Oh. Why is that? There's something that says if you don't if use you, it. For like consulting fees. If they use oh, ago, if so, they yes. You know, See, it, in but this we, case, we, uh, we, Paul we, Turner actually gave a check, uh, I believe, to Pauline at the time for consulting fees. But and there's I think some we old, said, there's really old. Yeah, we, 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 don't, we don't do that anymore. What we do now is we only ask for what we actually consume. There, there used to be a consulting, a, a just a thousand dollar, you know, line item, but that now in our fees it's listed as the actual cost. It should be a pass through with with a with an administrative fee, don't you think? Because if it's a pass through, so if it's a pass through with an administrative fee, if the lawyer's charging, you know, four hundred dollars, and we charge a ten percent fee, so it's four hundred and forty dollars that the town recoups for that expense. Oh, projects. I mean, I don't know. The oh. ZBA will say we want twenty thousand up front. I have mm -hmm. to keep track of, and at the end of the project, um, any money's left over, we turn back to the developer that. But the town's paid. eating your yeah. time and our resources. Yeah. The oh the yeah. There are, are, that shouldn't be free. Yeah. Is uh, we're not. Are, are we? Really we have to. Uh, get it printed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What'd you say, Zink? Yeah, cool. Sixty grand. How much? We have to. We have to adjourn. We have to adjourn, yes, yes, okay. and then I want to say something. Okay. Yeah, there's a list that long of yeah. different developments. So, yeah. um, get it. Sixty thousand. Yeah, I can get a look in the files and see. Much. Somebody's gonna. Somebody's gonna get a check that uh, wasn't expecting it though. Motion yeah. to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.